From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. In the news, the FBI yesterday released an in-depth timeline on the travels of serial killer Israel Keys, which were extensive, according to agents. The reason for the release of the timeline is to help identify more victims of Keys. Those victims, according to FBI officials, spread across a time period of nearly 15 years and included both rape and murder. Keyes committed suicide in his jail cell in December of 2012. Anyone with information on Keyes or his crimes is asked to call the Bureau at 1-800-CALL-FBI. A group of Fairbanks paddlers is being credited with saving the life of a teenager during a trip down the Gulcana. AP reports the group used an emergency beacon to get help for Craig Hammond, whose swollen knee showed signs of infection. He was taken by helicopter to a hospital where doctors said he arrived in the nick of time. And Governor Sean Parnell yesterday reiterated his commitment to defending Alaska from federal overreach while also urging Alaskans to engage in the process. Parnell said overreach occurs as the federal government overspends, overtaxes, overregulates, oversnoops, and overdecides those things that ought to be left to individuals or their local or state representatives, in his opinion. He said the state will use every tool available to ensure Alaskans' rights and freedoms are upheld. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Our air index through Friday is listed as unhealthy for sensitive groups. Kids, elderly folks, and those with respiratory problems will want to limit exertion outside. As for the forecast, areas of smoke persist for the next few days in the Fairbanks area. Today, partly cloudy with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Tonight, increasing clouds, lows in the 50s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, isolated showers developing by afternoon and highs in the 70s. Extended outlook, pretty much cloudy for a while. Showers here and there and highs in the 70s through the weekend. That's all we have for right now. Thank you for joining us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6, bringing you the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF. From all of us here, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching.